Welcome to Keyence's guide to viewing the door status of the GS and GSM series door interlocks via networking to a PLC. In this video, I'll be covering what components you need to use, how you need to connect the components, how to establish the connection to a PLC, and how to view the door status data in the PLC. If you want to see the door status of your GS or GSM series interlocks in your PLC, you need to connect the interlocks to the GC1000 safety controller from Keyence. Specifically, you need to connect the interlocks to the GC1000 safety controller via one of the GC link ports on top of the GC1000. This will allow the interlocks to communicate the lock or open status of each door, even if the interlocks are connected in series. To set up the GC1000 safety controller, you'll need the GC configurator software. The only thing you need to do in the software beyond the normal steps of making a program is to assign an IP address to your GC and then select the networking protocol you're using. The last thing I'll do in the GC configurator software is transfer the file over to the controller using the default password of four ones. After this, I'll approve the settings report and then set the controller to run mode. Now I'm all done and I'll move on to the PLC. In the PLC, we'll start with adding the GC module to the program. There's an EDS file for download from keyins.com. I will include the link in the description of this video. Once you've got a name and an IP address, click on the change button. This is going to allow us to set up what data is being transferred between the GC and the PLC. Instead of communication input slash status data, we'll want to use a GS monitor for the correct port the interlocks are connected to. An important note here, make sure the connection type is set to integer or int, or else the AOI won't work later. We can press OK to everything now, and then move on to adding the AOI we'll use for this process, which can be downloaded from keyins.com via the link in the description. Once I've imported the AOI, I'll add it to a rung in the program. Then I've got to fill out the three fields of the AOI. The top field is going to be a new tag, which contains all of the backend information for the AOI, and we won't really ever reference it later. The middle field is where we want to find and insert the dot data array from our GC's modules input data. The bottom field is the main tag we'll use going forward as it will contain all of the door status data we're looking for. Once I've created all the tags, I'll monitor the controller tags and then set the controller to run mode. Monitoring the tags, I can see that there's a lot of information that I can use, but what we'll turn our attention to is at the bottom, the GS Info Array. Here we can see an array of 16 UDTs. Each UDT corresponds to an interlock connected to the GC Link port. Up to 16 interlocks can be connected in series, so 16 UDTs exist. If you expand one of these UDTs, you can see if that specific door is opened locked, and what type of interlock it is. Using this information, it's possible to make a display on an HMI showing the state of all doors on a cell so an operator can know the overall status at a glance. 